Hi girls, I'm going to make a quick video about starting a charcoal drawing and uh, I picked this one because a number of people were doing it and you know it's a little bit complicated so I feel like we don't have a lot of practice thinking through how to begin a drawing like this so before you even start on your paper with mapping it out you need to make some observations and I want to show you some ways to start making those observations so pardon me if my camera is moving around a little bit um, I'm holding my cell phone in my hand because I don't have a better way to do it but uh, if I was starting this or any drawing I start out by noticing the highest point the lowest point it's not him it's the very bottom of the teacup saucer, and even the shadow's a little lower than that. Then I do things like, hmm, like looking at this mannequin's body, from the head to this base, this top area right there, compare that to the bottom half. Wow, so if you take this, it's just about half, it goes right down to the bottom of that pole. Okay, so, you're going to have a top and you might even want to draw a straight line, just sketching a line and the bottom of the pole, not the base yet, but just the bottom of the pole, halfway up that line is going to be where these, like the hips are. Those are just dashes that you can make. Now I'm making some other observations. I want to make sure I put my um, figure and cup far enough on the right side of my paper so that I have, I can include this cast shadow over here. Uh, also I'm noticing just little things like if I go from the edge of the teacup saucer straight up just is to the side of this line. If I come over here, line up the edge of the teacup, it's right in line with that hand. Uh, if I go through the center of the teacup, look at that, it goes right through the elbow joint on the mannequin. So the edge of the teacup over here goes right to the center of the head. These are all things that you need to recognize before you begin getting into any kind of detail with this. So uh, I'm gonna stop this video, that's enough of that. So I have a ruler and I'm using that ruler to help me line things up. If you have this printed out, it's a lot easier. You can actually draw some lines right on it. So that's how you start that. Second video is gonna be how do I translate that uh, onto my paper.